all right welcome back so what we're gonna do is in this session i'm gonna try to cover aws and terraform using an s3 bucket for somebody who is just getting started anywhere whether it's aws or terraform considering you were new to terraform and you're new to aws as well recently i switched my career from Azure to AWS. I wouldn't say switching a career. I would say that I've got a new project where I'm working on AWS. So I thought I'll just quickly share what it takes to get started with AWS. This video is not going to make you a champion of AWS, but as always going to give you a path how you should get started with AWS and Terraform. So what I've got, I have got a free tier for AWS already created. So if I click on create, free create, a free trial account you could get started and create an AWS uh, trial account which I have already done you need to punch in your uh, credit card and that's pretty much all I have already done that okay so I have let me log into my AWS account first thing is that right so it's going to be contact and I've got a domain name infracity.com and okay I'm going to punch in the password okay I'm going to punch in my super secret password that's gonna hopefully let me enter okay this is my AWS account this is my brand new AWS account and what I want to do is I don't know what to do and let's suppose I want to create a S3 bucket S3 bucket S means uh, simple storage bucket okay it's Amazon S3 it's like a bucket in Azure, it's called Azure Storage Account. It's GCP is also a bucket. So it's the smallest or one of the easiest things to get started in AWS, S3 bucket. You must have heard about S3 bucket a lot. Okay, this is what S3 is and this is what S3 is not. And uh, it's one of the simplest things to get started in AWS. Okay, so one of the way is you go to the console, you type in S3 over here and you can get started. All right, the next one is I'm going to, which the session is all about terraforming the S3 bucket. How do you do it? I've already got a folder. Okay, I have got a folder AWS terraform. I am going to create a new file, probably main.tf. Okay, and I'm going to say provider, provider dot, and the provider going to be AWS. Okay and it accepts bunch of parameters first parameter is um, which region you want to select wherein wherein you want to host your uh, aws storage account s3 bucket all right so first thing is um, the region second is access key how do you authenticate your terraform with the aws account which you have got over here they need to speak to each other right so you need an access key and you need a secret key as well okay i'm gonna put in this information how do you get these information so you go to your infra city or wherever wherever your aws account is go to the security credential all right so important feature uh security credential and then it gives you a bunch of information uh, for this demo we're gonna use a root account um, but generally you won't have access to root account in an ideal world okay so I've already got bunch of access key I'm gonna deactivate one of my access key all right then I'm gonna delete it as well because there's a limitation of how many access key you can create I'm gonna create a new access key click on create understand creating a root access that's fine all right copy the access key from here Okay, go to my Terraform code, paste in the access key. The second one is the secret key. Copy the secret key and paste in over here. These are very sensitive, so you can't be just keeping them open like um, anything. So be very sensitive about the secret key. All right, how do you get started? Let's start creating a, a storage S3 bucket. Okay, resource. And then the first in AWS. Sorry, I keep typing um, Azure because so used to working on it okay s3 bucket and then give it a name um, first bucket okay this could be anything 
Alright, and then you would say bucket name and I would say infra city bucket one probably and it has to be unique not only within your account but also all over the uh, AWS uh, network. Alright, and then you've got ACL whether the access control list is going to be private, it's more around um, the access and then tags you could define a tag for your bucket. Alright. And then probably you want to say that please enable the versioning also. Okay, this is a little important that you want to enable the versioning. Okay, enable versioning. By the way, you'll be seeing that there's been auto suggestion completely happening every time I type something. That's only because I'm using a GitHub Copilot. All right, um, that's pretty much all. I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to let's say, how do you run this? You say Terraform init first. Okay, and then it's going to initialize it and as soon as it initializes it, it is going to download bunch of uh, HashiCorp modules, which is going to be AWS as well. Once the initialization is done, you could run a plan. Plan is going to tell us what all resources it's going to create. Okay, let's go back to our terminal rather AWS console all right and check whether the bucket exists or not okay otherwise it will be like I'll be I'll be just saying that I'm gonna create a bucket but the bucket might have already been existing just to show you that there are no bucket existing with the name infra city bucket hyphen one okay go to s3 And let's see, this shouldn't have the bucket with name infra bucket hyphen one. Infra, there are infra city bucket, but there's nothing called as infra bucket hyphen one, infra hyphen bucket one. There's nothing like that, okay. Um, all right. In the plan, you can see that you have this whole bucket being created. Okay, what I'm gonna see is Terraform apply and then auto approve to say that please don't ask a yes or no from me please just go ahead and create the bucket for me all right in this one it is going to just create a bucket which the name is going to be infra bucket hyphen one with acl asset to private tags going to be infra uh, hyphen bucket one at the moment it doesn't exist um one two three four five so five bucket exist after the successful apply it should have the sixth bucket also created. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, the one bucket is added. Zero change, zero destroyed. All right, let's come back here, give it a refresh, see if it has populated. All right, it has populated. Infra bucket hyphen one and created few minutes, seconds back rather. And if you go to the bunch of information, um, probably properties, it could have the tags, which is name, infra bucket hyphen one and yeah that's pretty much all you could add multiple tags over here say uh, created via equals to terraform all right now if you do a terraform plan or apply it will say that one change which is the new object in the tag is being created okay so let's just let it apply and give us a plan that how what are the changes it is going to make all right it's checking the bucket state so everything is maintained as a state over here tf state okay one change which is going to be tags new tags going to be added i'm going to say yes and as soon as it is going to be created we're going to come back over here give it a refresh we'll have a new tag populating over here all right i'm just going to let it create all right this has been created gonna give a refresh again all right that's pretty much all and then we should have a new tag available under the tag section all right new tag is there cool that's pretty much all um i hope this was informative this was just to get started with aws in the next uh, session what i'm gonna cr do is i'm gonna create more of these buckets via terraform but there are multiple ways of creating buckets, multiple ways of creating multiple buckets. You can use the same code 
use count for each lot of other terraform functions and terraform capabilities if if you really like the video leave a comment and in the next session i'm going to pick up how you could create multiple s3 bucket using count or for each loops in terraform all right i hope this was informative i'll see you in the next one thank you